All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to another recruitment video. This time we're talking about four-star in the composite quarterback. Michael Hawkins Jr. is going to be playing at Frisco Emerson in Texas this year, and he is committed to Oklahoma. His father played at Oklahoma. Oklahoma fans are likely extremely excited about this, as, again, he played at Allen, Texas last year, where one Kyler Murray played. And, well, let's be honest, he gets a lot of comps to Kyler Murray. Let's dive in and see what this means for Michael Hawkins Jr. and the Oklahoma Sooners. All right, so as you can see, we've got the highlights going next to me. We're going to be watching these as we talk about him, but I got to wait one second because this highlight coming up, I loved. I watched this St. John Bosco game. St. John Bosco won the California State title and was the number one ranked team all season long. And watch this run right here. Absolutely love it. Just gone down the sideline. was an 80-yard touchdown in the game. They, I think they called it back for out of bounds. He never stepped out of bounds. So you need a replay system. But that's why people love him, that rushing upside. So let's take a look at him real quick, though, from the recruiting side of things. 6'1", 185 is what he's listed at. On three, has him as QB 38 and a three-star. 24-7 Sports has him as QB 26 and a three-star. Rivals has him as QB 2 and a four-star. ESPN has him as a four-star as well, but listed at QB8. So his dad played at Oklahoma, was a, I believe, a cornerback there. And last year, he won the first team selection as a junior for uh, 5-6A and the newcomer of the year as a sophomore. And he had a much better sophomore year than he did a junior. As a sophomore, passed for 2,816 yards, a 21-5 to touchdown interception ratio with 685 rushing yards and eight touchdowns. While as a junior, he only rushed for 409 yards and three touchdowns, did have 2,024 passing yards, still a 20 to five touchdown interception ratio. He's a great decision maker and he's a very poised decision maker as well. A lot of the talk on why he had that kind of setback his junior season was just due to the coaching staff and some changes that wasn't necessarily great. But what I like about Hawkins, you just saw what he was able to do as a rusher. He is dynamic. You get that ball in his hands and him in the open field, he's almost unstoppable. He's extremely elusive. He's got speed. I have no doubt that we're likely... Oh God, man, that kid's good. We we are likely going to get him over 21 miles per hour, which is incredible for skill position players as running backs, wide receivers, and get a tight end there. I think we're going to do it. He's extremely fast. You saw that throw right there. He's got incredible velocity, specifically in the short area. I saw him alive at the Elite or Region... Elite regional in elite 11 regional in Dallas. my goodness he had one of the best arms that i saw there he's got incredible mechanics you just watch this he's very very studious with what he does with his legs and his mechanics before throwing the ball now this ends up being an incomplete pass but it's still a great play he's able to buy time he operates well outside of the pocket he has the ability to extend plays out of the pocket again he will run when needed but he's got the velocity he's got really good accuracy as well you just saw that throw it's incredible. Now, I will admit, the biggest thing with him is that the accuracy kind of comes and goes at times. While I believe that he, he gets in these streaks where he's very accurate, it does kind of go in and out. As a sophomore, again, his best year, 65% completion percentage, but last year, just a 60%. Not a massive dri uh, I'm sorry, 57, 56%. Not a massive dip, but still a dip. We'll see what he does this year at Frisco Emerson. I, I think he's going to have a really good year. What I don't love is, as much as I like the Oklahoma landing spot, I don't love that he's going to be stuck behind Jackson Arnold for at least two years. Jackson Arnold is an incredible quarterback in his own right, and I just think it's going to be hard for a guy like Michael Hawkins to come in and then kind of beat him out and take that job. And I think that's exactly what you have to do at this point. When you're that talented, you come in, you still have to beat out the guy ahead of you who was a five-star, he was a top quarterback. We had him as a top five quarterback in our rankings last year. It's going to be very hard for, I think, Michael Hawkins Jr. to go in there and beat Jackson Arnold out at all. So does he stick around for a couple years and then maybe only get two years of playing time as he has to stay as a senior? Or does he end up transferring out? That's really the main question we're going to have to ask here of Michael Hawkins Jr. But at the end of the day, the talent is there. Right now, we just need to see him get on the field at some point. But I, I love Michael Hawkins Jr. I, I raved about him in my Elite 11 Regional write-up article last year. I think he's going to be a phenomenal player. Oklahoma got a great one. What do you guys think about him going to Oklahoma? Comment below. Let me know. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell icon so you don't miss any of these videos. As We've got another top quarterback committing tonight in Air Nolan. Have a great day, everybody.